I greet you in the name of the Lord from Cairo, Egypt, and apologize of not being there with you during uh, this conference. Sorry, uh, my ignorance uh, prevented me from uh, traveling. Uh, my visa didn't work at the airport, uh, but I'm sure that you will enjoy the time uh, together when you are uh, discussing issues very uh, crucial and uh, important for this historic uh, time. And we are uh, really blessed by partnering with the uh, SAT7, especially the last two years since the revolution, the media is playing um, 10 times the role that ever uh, before uh, the revolution. And I believe uh, the Christian media uh, is doing much better because people are now uh, so linked with the, with the media in general to listen, to hear, to see what is happening uh, every, everywhere. And uh, as a partner all through this uh, years, we believe that God did a marvelous uh, job uh, to reach the millions of people with the gospel of the Jesus uh, Christ. In, uh, in brief, uh, I would like to send you a, a message that I have in my heart, maybe to summarize what is happening right now uh, since the, the revolution, the 25th of January 2011. And I think these verses written in Hebrew uh, 12 can explain a lot of what we believe is happening uh, right now. Verse 26, at that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised, once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. His voice at certain time in history uh, shook the earth. And I believe along the history, God is shaking the nations, shaking the earth and the people living in that small uh, planet to think differently, to understand differently, uh, to revise their uh, life, especially their eternal uh, life. Once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. It means the, by the end time, God will do something that will be the final shaking uh, of the earth. The word once more indicate the removing of what can be shaken. That is created things so that what cannot be shaken may remain. I think this is uh, the idea be, be, be behind shaking, shaking the earth, shaking the nation, that things created by man, by his pride, by his ignorance, by his selfishness will fall down. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let's be thankful. So worship God acceptable with reverence and awe. For our God is consuming uh, fire. I believe the, the principle behind these verses will explain what's happening in a perfect uh, way. God allowed what happened as an earthquake uh, to shake nations and part of these nations, especially Egypt, the greatest country among the Arab uh, world. And with the uh, 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 much existence, the largest existence of the Church of Christ in the whole Arab world, in Egypt, especially also in, in, in Cairo. So through this shaking, through this earthquake, this mighty wind, all the shakeable kingdoms, all what has been built by man, with all the deception and false beliefs and traditions, that uh, taken from generation to generation uh, will fall down. So the unshakable kingdom, the kingdom of God made by God, made by the Son of God, made by the gospel of Jesus Christ may remain. And uh, I'm seeing this happening with a very high uh, price. The, the economic situation, the political situation, the social situation, the, uh, the, the security uh, circumstances that we believe in is, uh, is going down, down the hill, day after day, week after uh, uh, week. And as if there is no solution, 
uh, the, 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 the people are in power. They are trying to find uh, a way out, but unfortunately, they are not doing that. They are not finding the way out. People are crying uh, from every uh, side, complaining from every uh, aspect, uh, demonstrations uh, everywhere, people being killed day after day, bloodshed, anger, frustration, despair is happening all over the land uh, of Egypt. And God is allowing that. Many people are crying, God interfere, please do something, save the nation. But I believe that still God is shaking the nation. God is allowing what is happening because many things still there, man-made, should fall down. So the unshakable kingdom will remain alone, standing, so people can see the truth. People can understand the gospel. People can find the true God and to believe in him and to find him and to worship him. And uh, in the midst of this chaotic uh, situation, the church is experiencing something completely different than ever, ever uh, before. Uh, during this last, especially uh, two, uh, two years during the revolution, I'm seeing three things happening in, in the church. That we were uh, praying, uh, hoping, um, uh, doing uh, our best to see this, uh, uh, such things uh, to happen. And all of a sudden, as if the earthquake, the, the, the revolution, uh, uh, made something like ignition to the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of God's hand uh, to, to, to rise up the, the, the church, uh, to call the church to stand up, to rise up, to live what should be uh, before uh, that time. I'm seeing three things happening in a, in a very obvious way, to thank God, to worship Him, and to hold on that, and to uh, uh, wait for God's hands to complete his work as, as never, never, never uh, before. Number one, I'm seeing um, a spirit of repentance, a spirit of um, uh, revival happening among many, many Christians, mainly the nominal Christians. Many of the nominal Christians that live their life uh, away from God or just a religious, uh, ordinary uh, uh, kind of spirituality. Now they have been awakened. Now they are re revising their whole uh, life again. And thousands and thousands of them are repenting, coming back to, to God as never before, accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior, being washed by the blood of the Lamb, being dedicated back to worship and to live for His uh, glory. In every um, uh, evangelistic meeting, in every even ordinary meeting happened all through these uh, last two years. We have seen hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of people uh, coming to Christ as never, never uh, before. I myself am, am a witness uh, of that. I myself, I was there in many events. In, uh, in the festival, Ahsab Hasah, last year and the year uh, before, in, in many big events in, in Asyut, in in, uh, in Suhag, in Alexandria, in Hergada, in, in many other places, I have seen this happening as never, never uh, before. Thank God for that, because one soul to repent, one soul to give his life to Christ is more worth than any, uh, any loss in the materialistic uh, part of life, any loss in financial or uh, security uh, uh, kind of life. We, we are so thankful to God for that. But secondly, which is a, a, a very important thing that is happening, that a spirit of prayer. People are willing to pray. When you call for prayer, you will find not only hundreds, but thousands to come and spend hours and hours and hours. 11, 11, 11 was a, a sign of that, was a signal of that, was a, a, a kind of uh, uh, understanding of how much people are hungry to pray, willing to come from everywhere to spend hours and hours in God's presence uh, to praise and to worship and to intercede and to cry out and to celebrate God's presence in, 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 a, in, a, in a unique way. And I have seen this since 11, 11, 11, everywhere in the land uh, of Egypt. People are waiting for a big event, are waiting for anything like that, and they will uh, come. 
thirdly, which is a very precious thing, that the church is being united as never uh, before. Uh, the dream that we will see the church in the land of, e of Egypt, one church, one body, one bride for the bride uh, groom, is happening as ever, ever, ever uh, before. Uh, uh, it started in a, in, a, in a small scale. It started at the grass root, uh, root level. Uh, but now we are seeing this uh, movement and this spring is spreading all over the land of Egypt, uh, bringing the evangelical, the orthodox, the Catholic uh, together, not only in events, uh, but also around tables to discuss their issues, uh, to, to come in unity uh, uh, according to the circumstances and uh, to declare what they believe in, to take an action uh, toward the situation that we are passing uh, through. And um, we, we can see this very, very obviously, especially with the, uh, the, the, uh, the church council, uh, the, uh, the Egyptian church council that started a few weeks ago, headed by Pope Tordros himself. Uh, what a new step, what a huge step that the, the five big denominations in Egypt come together in unity in one council uh, to organize, to cooperate, to synergize, uh, to express the love of God among his family, uh, to be one voice, to speak in, in one mouth to the community and uh, during this historic uh, time. But most, more important than that, you, everywhere you go, you will find people um, hugging one another, accepting one another, visiting one another, going from one church to another uh, church, breaking all the barriers the, the Satan um, uh, has built all through the years between the, the denominations. Uh, we are seeing many leaders in many provinces bringing themselves together in unity to pray together, to organize for big events. And um, thank uh, God and thank Sat7 that they broadcasted many of such big events that happened all through the last two years. I'm seeing a miracle. I'm seeing something historic will change the history, not only of the church in Egypt, but the, this will change the history of the whole nation. In the midst of the crisis, that people are fighting one another, in the midst of the split that's happening uh, 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 in, the, in the political arena, we are seeing on the, others, on the other hand that God is bringing his body uh, together, that the bones are uh, brought together to build again the, the church of Christ as it should be, the church of love, the church of unity, that we may be one as the Father and the Son are one, that we may be one in God himself, that we may be perfected in oneness, that this earthquake, that the voice of the Lord that shook the earth, uh, breaking down all that man-made, will make the unshakable kingdom, the kingdom of God that presented in the body of Christ, in the church of Christ, will be seen as never, never, never before. The wisdom that God is giving for the leaders these days, the, the, uh, the way they, beha they behave, the way they uh, express themselves are unbelievable. Every time I see our leaders now acting in, 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 in humility, in, in loving, in accepting one another, hugging one another, uh, um, uh, washing the feet of one another. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm seeing a miracle, a real miracle by God himself. I'm seeing a resurrection, that church of Christ in the land of Egypt has, has been um, uh, resurrected from the death, experiencing a revival more than just people coming to Christ or the spirit of prayer covering uh, the church as never before. But I'm seeing something more than that, the unity, the unity. This is the miracle that make all the earth, all the people believe in, in God the Father, God the Son, and God the, the Holy uh, Spirit. And I'm, I'm encouraging you uh, that um, um, the media is playing a major role 
in bringing the word of God for salvation, in bringing the, the, the spirit of prayer into every home that people cannot go. They are praying now that bringing the spirit of unity and the call of unity and bringing all these big events uh, can be seen everywhere. So people can everywhere join what is happening anywhere in the land of Egypt or anywhere in, in the Arab world to be united with, to be linked with, uh, uh, to be uh, hooked with what is happening. So God can call his people out of the land of Egypt to rise up, to stand in the gap uh, during this historic uh, time, to see the greatest revival ever in history may happen in the near future all over the, the land of Egypt as the waters cover the sea, the knowledge of the glory of our God. Uh, uh, will be experienced. This is what we are uh, waiting for. A final remark before I, I close, that I'm seeing something else happening, not only in the church, but outside the church. I'm seeing that God is now unmasking uh, the truth, um, um, allowing people to see the contrast between the darkness and light, then the false truth and the true truth. Uh, to see the difference between the lie and the honesty, uh, the, the pride and the humility, uh, the, uh, the, the spirit of killing and hostility and hatred attitude, and the spirit of love and forgiveness. God is unmasking the truth. God is opening many eyes and ears to listen to the voice of the uh, Son of the living God calling the dead people to hear his voice and to come back to him, to be reconciled with him, to experience a new life in Jesus uh, uh, Christ. Uh, people are now thinking in a, in a, in a, in a, in a new way, in, in, a, in, a, in real freedom, in a very intellectual, in a, in a very logic way, as never, never, never before. The revolution allowed people um, to think which, which is a miracle. We have been uh, for years and years forbidden uh, of thinking, of expressing what we believe in, of saying uh, or seeing what we should see or say. And now people are seeing, saying, allowing themselves to rebel against all the tradition, uh, 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 to experience life in a, in a new dimension, which is something that uh, blowing my mind. God is opening the door. God is breaking through the walls. God is calling millions and millions of people to discover the truth that we can see in the face of Jesus uh, Christ. Please, we are calling the Gavadi of Christ worldwide. Please join us in prayer for this historic moment for the, the, the coming few months before the end of this year, that God will interfere, that God will go on with his plan to shake all the shakeable things by, made by man. So the unshakable kingdom made by God will stand alone and people will come to join his kingdom and to reconcile with him through the blood of the Lamb. May God bless you. And uh, I'm, I'm praying that you will experience his presence as ever before. God will give you wisdom. How to use Sat7 in a, in, a, in a mighty way, according to his will, according to his uh, desire to call the millions of Arabs, not only in, in Egypt, but in the whole Arab world, to hear the voice of the Son of the living God. May God bless you.